Hello and welcome to this scratch tutorial and last time out we were building this game where we could jump this block and if we hit the block we'd get a game over message so there you go game over now I said there were lots of ways we could improve it and one of the ways was using a variable so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a variable to change the speed of the block so here's the code for the block and let's look for this code here which changes x by minus 10 which means it keeps moving left on our screens so if I wanted to change that I'd need a variable in there and to make a variable we go to data so I'm going to make a variable and we can call this whatever we like but I'm going to call it speed because it's going to control the speed of our block so at the start of our game I'd like to set speed to, to minus 10 so that's the same as the number we've got at the moment and then in here I'm going to change x by speed. Now speed is minus 10 at the moment. But every time it gets to the edge of the screen, it triggers this code. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change speed by, let's just try minus 0.5. So each time it's going to get 0.5 less when it gets to the edge of the screen. And that should mean it speeds up. So let's see if that's worked. Now we can see in the top left corner the speed variable value which at the moment is zero but when I click go I'd expect it to go to minus 10 and then we'll see what happens to it. So oh, better be ready to jump. Alright so that number is going, oh and it caught me out. Oh, Now we can see our variables going crazy once we game over which is not too much of a problem because whenever we restart it goes back to 10. Now let's see if I can be good enough to actually see it speeding up. Can you see? Can we see that that block is getting quicker and quicker and quicker each time? In fact, it's so quick I can't keep up with it. Oh, too too soon that time. So you can keep jumping the block, keep jumping the block, but each time it's getting quicker. So for me, I think maybe it's getting too quick. So I can change that, and I can say right, well, we'll just change it by point two. And there we go. Right, so it's just slowly getting faster this time. I've got a bit more of a rhythm. So now we're at a minus 11 speed. Let's see how far we can get. Now that, this, this is good, but could we improve it? Well, one thing we can do is we can hide this variable away. Uh, I don't want to see it, so I untick it. I can't see it. It's still there, but I can't see it anymore. Um, what I would like to do is a score, though. So I'm going to add a score variable. And at the start of the game, the score is zero. I'll put those together. But then every time the block gets to the edge of the screen, I'm going to change the score by one. So let's leave that up there. Let's see if that works. Oh, wasn't ready. So, yep, I've scored one, two. Wasn't very good. Oh, no, score has gone crazy. Now I've got game over. We don't want that. That's not good, is it? So... How can we stop that? Because the block has obviously carried on moving after the game has finished. It's hidden, and then it's carried on moving. So we need to think about how we can stop that from happening. So let's move that out of there for a second, and let's think about where we could put it that it would add a score at the right point. Hmm. And perhaps I could use... Uh, a control block and I'm going to say stop all. So when we get that we're going to stop all. Let's see if that works. Hmm. Oh. So we've got two. There you go. Score stops at one. Brilliant. So that's worked. Now one other problem that I seem to be having is I'm just not quick enough jumping that first block. So I'd like to give myself a bit more warning. So what I might do is put in some sort of delay there you go, I've got my score of 6 put in some sort of delay for the first change so I'm going to put in a wait of just half a second in here so when I click go I can get myself ready and here it comes, there you go that gave me a bit more of a chance to be ready for the first one alright, let's go for a high score oh, 3, right, one more go, one more go see if we can beat 3 so, oh, going well so far. Yes. 
I think we're on for a high score here. Okay, it should be getting quicker. Oh, eight. So, oh, nine scored nine. Brilliant. So, that's my simple game, and that's how I've used a variable to improve it. I hope this has been useful, and thanks for watching.